Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. My name is Ace and I got more TF2 commentary. I'm playing as a scout for, well, obvious reasons. As well as, of course, I'm using the strange scatter gun, the guillotine. And yes, I am pronouncing it as guillotine. <laughs> Deal with it. And I'm also using the Sandman, which that combination with, of course, the guillotine is just very, very satisfying. And if you are wondering what kind of map this is because you have never seen it before, well, first of all, you are right because you could not have seen it before. Because this map just has been added, just recently has been added to the TF2, of course. And it's called King of the Hill King. It's, of course, due to the entire Chinese promo items and the, enchi uh, the entire Chinese style that recently has been added. That this map has been added as well. And this is a video about my initial impressions. Uh, it's going to be slightly opinionated. Not necessarily bad, absolutely not. It's just that I just played a few rounds on this map and I am pretty sure that over time my opinion will get refined about this map, my opinion about this map will get refined as well as it might it might just change depending on with who I'm playing, on how many people I'm playing with, how good they are, what servers I am, what ping I have, etc, etc. But these things they take time and like I'm saying these are just my initial impressions. And they are fairly good, I'm not gonna lie, I really really like the map, it doesn't look too bad. I'm not really entire. I'm not really into the entire Chinese style of things on TF2, but nonetheless, it looks very good. I can't deny that, and it plays very well, especially if you are going to play classes that flank. So be aware that spies, good spies, and scouts, decent or good, I am decent at a good day. So I, I think I'm going to have a field day on this map. Are going to have a very good time, because if you play this map, you will find that certain things are initially confusing. That's mainly the outskirts. The the middle the middle area where the king of the hill of course is the point that you have to cap is fairly easy to understand. It's fairly open, there's not too much to it. But when it goes to the outskirts, it sometimes feels a little bit confusing. And this is I'm not sure if this is because I just joined the map and it just didn't feel like anything I've played before, the outskirts. At least to me personally, once again personal opinion keep that in mind it just felt a bit confusing and in addition to that uh, it also doesn't really promote sustainability if you don't have a medic there is not a lot of meta packs to go around on the high ground if in the combat area if you like there's only two small health packs and on the low ground if you actually retreat a bit more out of combat there's only a medium I believe there's two don't quote me on that and are two large on the complete outskirts fairly close to spawn so it's an interesting placement of meta packs compared to maps I've, uh, I've been used to playing. Nonetheless, it doesn't promote sustainability if you are just going to hang around on the high ground unless you have medics with you. So medics are definitely going to be appreciated on this map as they should always be because medics are important regardless of what your opinion about them is. Um, but like I said, meta packs it doesn't it doesn't allow you to sustain without medics. In addition to that, the outskirts are actually quite impressive. Once you get the hang of it, it, you will notice that this map actually promotes good gameplay. Hear me out. If you, like I said, like I said, if you are going to play a scout or a spy, you can flank everything quite easily. Like every thing, every entrance to the mid that the enemy has, or even you can be relatively flanked. So if you see spies, or if you see, I mean snipers, if you see snipers camping, or just people camping and building up here, you can relatively flank them from several positions. There's a high ground, you can get to them from the low ground. Like I said, you can actually go to the lower area. As you can see right here, there's a stairs on both sides of the, uh, of the point. You can go to the lower area, where you can either sustain yourself by picking up that medium health pack, which is also quite nice to hang around here as a scout to just run around because people that will go to the, the low guard are either escaping or trying to get the health back, which means you can pick them off quite nicely. And as you can see, everything is relatively easily, easily flanked, like the stairs. And I think the problem with this is because every single decent entrance from your spawn to mid is actually a choke point. There are a lot of ways to get to spawn, don't... don't don't get me wrong, it's just that the vast majority of these entrances towards uh, the mid are... At least they feel a bit choky to me. And of course it has to do with the stairs mainly and the fact that there's a bridge. And a lot of people, they will go for the bridge. They will go to the high ground, directly take the, the most direct route to it. And as you will see during the gameplay, a lot of people that do that, 
will practically die because the entire team just went through that choke point and we just spammed in that choke point and they died. Doesn't take a rocket science to figure out why that is. So you have to pay a little bit more attention to where you are going to go when you're going to go to mid. You have to think about it just a little bit because you don't want to go through the entire ch through all the choke points with your team. At least through one choke point with your entire team. You want to split it up. And I suppose that when you have pubs and people just start to play this map, they don't really think about that because they don't really understand the map yet as I did. But as you can see, just snipers here as well and you can just really easily pick them up. Even if they try to run away, they still have that stairs they have to go through, which is pretty much a choke point. And it's fairly interesting. I'm not entirely sure if this map will be liked. I like it as a, a, a primarily scout player because, like I said, it's easy to flank. You can jump quite nicely over the mid. And, you know, because I'm faster, I don't really mind pulling off a little bit out of combat to get the medium health back or just go down there to see if somebody is easily to be picked off. So my initial impressions of this map are relatively positive considering I think I'm doing all right with my positivity here there's no doubt about that it's just that I do worry about the fact that you can't really sustain yourself unless you pull really out of combat so for pubs this map might just be a pain in the ass as well as, of course, the massive amounts of choke points, or at least the primary entrances to mid, are chokish. So I wonder how that will turn out as well uh, in actual pub play or f with people that have a just a bit of a higher known skill level on average, depending on what server you play. Or perhaps even competitive, but I doubt that. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comment section below. We are about to win this match. But before I go, I would like to point out that... I am in fact uploading different games and I am fairly close to hitting 3k subscribers. So if you may have a suggestion to what you want to see for a 3k video, let me know. Otherwise I'm just going to keep it simple because I had to, for my 1k subscriber video, I had to put a lot, of, a lot of time in and time I actually did not have. That's why it took me a bit longer when I uh, got that milestone. So I'm probably going to keep it simple. But if you have something specific you would like, let me know and I will catch you guys next time. Take care.